Yeah, what was the uh, the current uh, alleged war on terrorism? I take a look at it. It's being a modern day uh, inquisition, whereby they're going after one organized religion after another, and then as soon as they wipe out one organized religion, then they're going to go after another one. And I I feel that uh, not only do I feel 911 was an inside job, mm-hmm. excuse me, 911. I I've, at the same time I think that uh, the people that were behind it would not only I, I look upon it as sort of the Fourth Reich sort of thing. Like you, when people say Fourth Reich, I'm, I mean the Nazis, but I mean if you understand what the Nazis came from. The Nazis did not come from Germany. The Nazis, that was only a continuation. I'm talking all the way back to Egyptian times. If you take a look at how it's risen through the years, that, that basically the stop off in the Nazis was only basically a brief stop off where they're going for world conquest. They realized they couldn't get it at that time because they didn't have the manpower. So they slowly been behind everything, you know, and that w- with your Knight uh, Templar, what, when you're starting to talk about that and the seven heads were behind 9-11, uh, what I am seeing is, is I'm seeing that basically this is already traced all the way back to Egyptian times, if not further back. And, you know, so could you talk a little bit about that and how it's gone through the time and actually, the, you know, 1800, 1900, and then basically into the Nazis. And then once the Nazis realized that they couldn't win, then they basically sort of started reforming themselves into a gigantic corporation that went on and, and later on got involved with world terrorists and FBI, CIA, federal justice system, Canada and everything else. Sure. I mean, you can start as far away back as Sumer, Babylon, Acadia. You can trace it to Egypt. Uh, From Egypt, uh, you can trace it to Rome. From Rome, you can trace it to Germany. From Germany, you can trace it back to uh, the States. You can also trace, sorry, uh, to France also from like the Templars uh, coming out of France, the nine original knights uh, doing their, uh, doing their parts in the crusade and underneath Solomon's temple and whatever it was that they discovered and what followed after that and the continuation of uh, the purging of the Knights Templar, uh, people going, uh, them going to Portugal, some of them going to Scotland, uh, the Scottish Rite Freemasonry being formed, uh, and then originally, you know, initially finding themselves back into the States uh, with Scottish Rite Masonry at the head. Like it, uh, just to touch base with your last speech, I, I've always found it not to be coincidental that the 33rd president was a 33rd degree Freemason who is responsible for setting up Israel. Like the masonry ties, uh, even with 9-11 or 9-1-1, you'll find that uh, the two towers, uh, the pillars of Boaz and Jachin, uh, the Pentagon, a five-pointed star, uh, all these symbolisms all trace back to masonry, which traces themselves back to Templarism, which traces itself back to Egypt, to Sumer, to, a, you know, a pretty much bloodlines small amount of people continuing their agenda from the beginning of our history up to now. I mean, it's what we like to call conspirituality. It's a mix of conspiracy, uh, more not so much theory, because to me, a conspiracy theory is sort of like thinking that uh, Elvis and uh, River Phoenix are sitting on a beach somewhere. That's a conspiracy conspiracy theory to me. I mean, anything that we discuss and uh, opinions that we have in our music and that we're talking about now are things that you can find in history, pseudo history, some people might call it. But uh, it's there. It's there. Like the, the Nazis, like you said, the Fourth Reich, uh, it, it clearly exists. You can see it with uh, where Bush got his money from, Prescott Bush and his involvement in funding Hitler with the Harriman Company. And, 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 and so goes that. Uh, it's so deep. It's so, it's so complex, but it seems so simple, too, at the same time. The more you look into it, the more it's cut and dry. Like, uh, it's sort of like a game plan that's been written out and it's just being fulfilled step yeah. by step. It's amazing that you said that, that when I wrote my first first novel that's exactly what I saw written in front of me but I closed my eyes and I could see their game plan already written and that's what I wrote about the fourth Reich and that's why I got you know sort of exiled out of Canada before <laughs> writing this novel and I do I do thank you a few neocons out of Alberta <laughs> for doing that because then going to the United States like I started getting an education there was one song that you did it's called Crackers in America it talks about the CIA yes well, one thing about the CIA is the CIA heavily recruits in the, Mor- in the Mormon church, be- returning missionaries because they're bilingual. Also with the Mormon church, like I spend about four to five years in the Mormon church. Uh, I'm not a member in, at, at this time. I, I don't want to be a part of any church at this time. But the, uh, the Mormon church also has, uh, in their temples, they have an awful lot of Freemasonry uh, rituals, right? For, for sure. And I, I've been through their temple and that, uh, but, uh, you know, that kind of it creeps me out. You know, uh, when, when you talked about that song about the CIA and everything, I could see everything starting to tie together. And also with bin Laden, bin Laden was actually trained by the CIA, as you were saying in your, in your one song. Yep. 
And uh, to the people that aren't aware, Bin Laden was poisoned in 1997. His kidneys are, are close to shutting down at that time. There's no way Mr. Bin Laden can still be alive because he'd need, he'd need a dialysis machine to stay alive. So right off the bat, you're starting to question how can a guy <laughs> in a cave uh, be able to plan one of the biggest attacks of all times, Pearl Harbor? You know, then you know you know it's an inside job because of NORAD sure. and also uh, with uh, operations Norwood and stuff like that. The list goes on and on. What's your thoughts on all that? Uh, I'm a firm believer that Bin Laden is dead and has been dead for a while. I mean, it's a perfect opportunity for them to be popping out all these different videos that are clearly a different character. I mean, it doesn't take uh, an expert at all to look at some of the, the different video clips that have come out and like... It, it's clearly a different person. Regardless of me, him being, if he's dead or if he's alive, he was funded in 79 by the Carter administration. Uh, Zbigniew New Brzezinski, who pops up now with the Obama administration and his name, you can watch YouTube clips of him going into Afghanistan and pretty much doing a Braveheart-like thing, uh, rallying up the the Afghani rebels to to fight with Russia because at that point uh, they were an asset so they they're 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 fully responsible I and I think they should be accountable for that I've, I've talked to many people about that and their uh, people's opinion or some people's opinion is that we shouldn't be responsible for the fact that the CIA funded Al Qaeda pretty much created created them because we wouldn't know what they were gonna become in the future so now that you know now that uh, they're not our friends when they were once our friends sort of like Saddam who Saying, you know, who got tons of chemical weapons and biological weapons from the United States government. Clearly, all of a sudden, he is not an asset and he's not a, a friend to the U.S. and he's a perfect scapegoat. Not saying that Saddam didn't do bad things, just clearly showing yet again uh, the influence and uh, the responsibility of the CIA, the American government for putting these things into action. You know, the week before uh, Benazir Bhutto was assassinated, she was interviewed on French television, yes, and there's a clip this. of this on the internet. She was interviewed on French television saying that she had information from the Pakistani Secret Service that bin Laden had been killed. Had been assassinated. Had been assassinated yeah. already. And then she gets knocked off the week after that. So, I mean, put it together, folks. The, the BBC actually uh, cut that 10-second part of her uh, out of the video when they aired it you can watch it on youtube and she clearly states and she's just making it a, a statement like everyone in pakistan knows that bin laden's been been killed she states the person who did it and some of the other people that he was responsible for killing and then when that aired on the bbc 10 second that 10 second part was just magically gone